hey, here's your tip and trick for the day if you've ever been frustrated not being able to import your iMovie mobile file, like if you're on your phone or on your iPad, into iMovie. You used to be able to do it, but with, with the iMovie 10, you can't do that anymore. And I did a recording. I, did, I was doing an edit on my iPad, and I, I figure it's going to be easier to do an iMovie, but I'd already done some uh, narration, just recording it on my iPad. And I didn't want to have to isolate it and export it. So I figured there's got to be a way to get inside this iMovie mobile file. And typically on a Mac, you can right-click, and third one down says Show Package Contents. You can browse through this, this self-contained file and, and find the assets you need. But with this iMovie mobile file, it won't let you do that. So here's the trick. You basically just either double-click it twice slowly or hit your Enter key. And then you come over here and change the extension to a zip file. And you want to use that zip file. <clears throat> and then from there, you just double click it and it unpackages it like a zip file, and you have a folder. And inside this folder are all of your assets. And so in here, if I scroll down a bit, down here, I've got all of my narration recordings. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully that'll help you out if you're ever kind of stuck in that same pickle that I was. And if you're worried about your .imovie mobile file, all you have to do is, you know, do Command Z, and that'll change it back. Just undo your name change, and you have your iMovie mobile file back, and you have a folder full of all the assets. Can't ask for much more than that. So there you go. Have a super day.